okay so hello uh, i'm going to be showing uh, how i completed my practical aid that relates docker so uh first i have to make a folder with the source file the application file that i'll be running in my docker and then i have to create a docker file so in the visual studio you can see that, that my docker file contains these commands here in working directory i have imported the source file that's source 2 here and uh, i have exposed in port 8080 and uh, there is a command npm install which will basically install all the npm dependencies and after the dependencies are installed the application will be run using npm start so if i uh, run my command cli so here i have to uh, locate my folder so let's do that okay So now I'm inside the uh, inside the folder where my Docker file is located. So now I have to simply run, uh, simply build my uh, image using the Docker file. So I will just give the, write the command Docker build minus t and uh, the name of the Docker. Sorry, the name of the image that I'll be giving is sid seven two five dot save and then dot. So now basically the uh, Docker file is uh, the image is actually uh, prepared from the Docker file. Now if I want to check. I can write the command, run the command Docker images, and it will basically show me. Uh, it will basically show me the images that has been made here, and if we take a closer look, we can see here that there is a image here. So uh, it says the latest one. So now, if I uh, try to run from this, uh, if I try to uh, run the container from this image, I have to write Docker run. Uh, minus t minus uh, p then i have to associate a port like let me give uh, okay let me give 3000 3001 and the exposed port is 8080 now the name of the image name of the image was uh, okay so it's here i have to associate the name of the image and the docker and the container name will be associated automatically So see, uh, this is the container ID. Now, uh, if I want to check if my uh, container is running, I will run the command docker ps. So this command will basically show me all the running containers in my hub. So here, these are all the running containers. And this is the, is the one that we just created. I just created. Uh, it, it says that it's created 15 seconds ago and it's up 12 seconds ago and it's actually up at this point. So if I want you to show, I can show that in my doc docker desktop also, I can see that the images, uh, this is the image. So well, uh, this is the latest one. And this is the one I created when I actually submitted my assignment. It says eight days ago. Anyway, so this is the latest one, and that's why we need the tag latest because the tag actually explains which one is latest and which one is not. So now uh, in the container, as I mentioned before, that the name of the container will be associated automatically. So here it's automatically associated. The name is friendly noise, and if I click it, it says that app listening to eight zero eight zero, and it's running. Uh, okay, let's go back. See the name of the image here running three zero zero one is the port. So let's check from the browser. Here, if I write uh, local host from three thousand one. See, it's basically my practical tree that I used. And in this practical, we were supposed to just uh, make a form. So now it's just basically working, the form basic here. And there are some cards that I added. Okay, so now if I go to command line again, and uh, okay, so now I have to basically push this image in my Docker Hub, Docker, Docker repository. So let's do that by using the command Docker push. And then the name of the image, uh, it's n slash sid725.md. Okay, now uh, Docker push and and obviously I have to use the tag here other because there are multiple uh, images with the same name so the tag actually helps us to differentiate between those so now if I press enter it's uh, it says it's preparing yeah and it's actually loading in the uh, hub so let's check here so this is basically the repository name here and okay, let's see if it's done it's still going on we have to wait for it to complete and once it's done all the pushing is done we can check in the docker hub that it's uploaded okay so here it's basically done and yeah it, it's it's saying here that it already exists but we can check because if even if it exists it will actually get updated here so yeah, last push a few seconds ago, the date is today's date, and here this is the actually push, the image here, the tag is latest. Okay, so now uh, using this command line also, I can pull the image. So instead of push, I have to use pull and the same name. So let's just use the previous command and edit here. Pull. So now if I run the command, it will basically pull the image from the hub. 
image is up to date it's put now i want to uh, remove this image from my local machine and then try to uh, and then try to push i mean uh, not push try to make a container using that image so when uh, the device won't be able to find the image locally it will download from the repository Okay, so let's the Docker. Yeah, so now you can see here that in the images, this one is the old one that's a seven days ago, but the one that I made recently actually is not available here. So it's removed. Now if I want to run, now if I want to, uh, well, try to run a container from it, like d minus p using the image like w will end uh, oh i need to assign the port also so first assign the port yes, and this time let me use a different one like 2000 so that i can check and the image here is yeah okay so it says unable to find the image uh latest locally so it's pulling from the directory from the hub so here the image name and the hub name is similar that's why it, it might seem a little confusing but the one in the comment is basically the image name and it's pulling from the docker hub so now it's created and here is the id this id is basically the con id of the container so now if i want to check i can check here docker ps because it shows all the running uh containers so yeah this is the one the latest one and it's up so now if i want to check it again i can do like local host it's now this time it's 2000 okay so yeah this is the same page same thing so it's running if i want to check in my uh container using desktop docker i can see this is the one the loving solomon running 2004 okay so this is the one okay so that's done and